check myself in the mirror. Okay. <laughs> right, take one. Good morning. Well, we arrived uh, a little bit late last night. Ran out of uh, battery on the GoPro, so didn't take any more footage. So we're here at the Eeps Mouth Hotel. Arrived about half past seven, quarter to eight. So it's basically crashed, showered, um, bought some snacks earlier in the day in um, Seatown. And we're about to leave. Unfortunately, it is pouring down. So as you can see, we're all in the weatherproofs again. Um, so we just got to go down, settle up, and then we're off on our merry way. We just look out the window. There it is. Rain and a fly. Okay, let's get on. Hats up. Let's get going. Oh, hats up, masks off. Okay, nice little treat. Saying goodbye to the Eeps Mouth Country Hotel. Really nice breakfast. Kippers today for me. Uh, we're heading on into West Bay. I think it's about a mile, two miles. And then uh, West Bessick, Bessick turn, I think. But I'll, um, I'll get back to you on that one because I'm not sure. Not Where are we heading? Oh, uh, might be Burton Bradstock. We're still not sure. <laughs> we'll find out soon. Okay, back to where we left off yesterday evening. Eeps, Eeps mouth behind us. Definitely a bloody miserable day today but weather forecast supposed to be better tomorrow. Always looks, um, always looks better in the sunshine. Yeah. And just on top there, big beacon up there on the top. And we were, we were there about five o'clock last night. Okay, on to West Bay. Oh, really slipped over. That was a, well, that was a short. She said, didn't she be careful? Yeah, she did. That was a short uh, mile walk from me into looking down onto West Bay. Um, we're not really sure where we're going to end today. And then we've got to meet friends from St Agnes. We don't know. Um, we don't know who we are today. But no, uh, we don't know where we're going to stop. They. Basically, they'll pick us up from wherever we are, so we can plod on and please ourselves, which is nice today. Makes, them, makes a change, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Oh, Bridport Harbour, but West Bay. Now we go. Steps and around them, I suppose. We are slightly lost. How can we get lost? Got lost in the harbour. when we uh, did a small section of the Dorset Coastal Path about three years ago. We stayed there on our last night and it was good food then. Good food and nice room. I can't don't know what it's like now mate but it's a trip advisor at yeah. 
Yeah, we couldn't get hooked in anyway, it's busy. Covid times, everything's busy, busy, busy. Okay, where's this pretty coaster path gone? Bit of an interesting climb out of West Bay. Not easy at all. It's got to be the, not the steepest, but the uh, less obvious path. <laughs> oh. around a minute. Okay, got up the top. Say goodbye now to um, West Bay and Bridport behind me. Look like we've got a bit more of a, a decent path out in front of us. Lovely, lovely golf course there. I didn't research much this morning. Didn't read uh, uh, Paddy Dillon Southwest Coastal Path Encyclopedia. So we think we are now coming down to Burton Bright Spot. Pretty sure. The only thing we're definitely sure of when we're meeting up with Quentin and Sue. Okay, the uh, coast path dipped down onto the beach. Freshwater, I thought it was um, Burton Bradstock, got it right. Um, but no, it's the freshwater campsite, but massive. Okay, then we cut, come in land a bit up through the campsite a little way. I think there must be a, a stream. So you've got to come up inland and cross a bridge and back down onto the coast path. Trouble with gate, lass. Right, I got it. Right, there's the bridge. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just another camp. Oops. Yeah. Oh, there's the stream. There's the bridge. This is um, Bradstock Beach. And we come down to look for a little cafe, but this looks all a bit posh down here. Yeah, a lot of digger bro. Anyway, there's the beach. I don't know if we can go in and have a coffee. We've got a bucket, but you've got a bloody bucket. Oh God. Just want to roll into a little cup and saucer. Transport cafe, that's all we want. Oh, more tents, really. Ah, if you can see, you might be lucky and get a little table. Have a look. Have a look and see what's going on. Okay, gang. Just had a nice um, bit of cake. What did you have, darling? I had a savoury scone. Savoury scone. I had a lemon and elderflower piece of cake with um, Earl Grey. It was all right. A place called The Hive. It was a bit of a hassle getting in and out, especially with backpacks on, wasn't it? Yeah. It was stressful. All this trick and treating and track and tracing and getting your bags on and yeah. But worth it. We've got a nice hour sat in there. Looks at Facebook. Oh, did you? No, only a little bit. Um, <laughs> looked at the map. A little bit of planning and um right we're gonna head to west bexington so that was on my uh, earlier list i was getting confused head into bexington and hopefully get picked up um by quentin but it might be a it might be a little um not an eatery uh 
puppery. <laughs> puppery. It's not, I don't think it's called a puppery. A watering hall. There might be a watering hall there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. show you that gate there. Julie's just come through that gate. Halfway down the gate, there's like cow shit all down the gate and the cows must have actually got up against it and then... Oh, vile. Oh, this route, um, which is just behind the shingle beach, it says summer use only. So we asked the lady's advice just now she's walking her dog and she said oh yeah it's easier than walking on the shingle it hadn't been that it's been muddy and parts of it you had a job to get through without getting absolutely covered in mud but we're having so much fun <laughs> oh dear i do like this coast of walking <laughs> Julie said she just wants to sit in front of a log fire in a comfy chair with a glass of red wine oh, that's it. and a book. That would suit us at the moment, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, that would suit us at the moment. I think this walk, this bit here, would have been lovely on a nice in hot June. <laughs> in it's June summer. in in June yeah oh, we'll, tr we'll try we'll try this we we'll try this in June it's <sighs> it was like some of it was like mown mown <laughs> mowed grass not mown grass mowed grass uh, in between the boggy bits that was nice uh, there's those bloody cows up here look out right Mabel was that you back there it was one of you. Come on, own up. Oh, right, there's that black one back there. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell, just had that guilty look. Anyway, what are they stood up for? They're supposed to be sitting down, it's raining. Okay, well, the path now is by being diverted off the slushy field. <laughs> and now it's back on the gravel. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> trying, trying to dodge the cows, the cows mess, and the, um, the puddles and the mud. We're kind of sinking into the into the shingle. And we've it's about I think it's about a two mile walk along to West Bexton. And I it's been although it's been flat, <laughs> it's been a hard lot. What was it? Three, it's three miles, it's walked two. Oh right, it was three. One One well, yeah, I can see uh, we can see West Bexton in front, but yeah, flat, flat but tough, that's what it's been, you just say, sum up the last two miles. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a bit hard. 
tired. <laughs> it's a bit peak probably. <laughs> Lovely though. Lovely. 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 All we're hoping is that the next, because we're going to break now hopefully and meet up with Quentin. And we're just open tomorrow. We haven't got to get back on this. We are. I can see it there. I don't want to go. <laughs> we're going to catch a bus. No. It looks great, but it's that's a uh, if Chesil Beach is walking along like this, walking along Chesil Beach near Weymouth, I ain't doing it. I thought I'm getting snow snowshoes or something. Oh, anyway, it looks like a hostillery, a watering hole. Let's go and have a look. Oh, coast path. Abbotsbury. Four miles on pure shingle.